Uh, my opponent was clearly stated clearly stated that uh, security cameras will not um, deteriorate crime or will influence the capture of criminals. However, in a um, article from abcnews.com, says the cameras have provided valuable forcing evidence in crime and terror <clears throat> terror investigations, such as recent uh, blundered car bombing and the July 7, 2005 terrorist attack in London where, <clears throat> where British officials were able to attack to track the movements of preparators and make their arrest. What this means that with those security cameras placed on the streets of uh, London, well now it's not America, we can adapt that idea, they were actually able to catch the people who placed the bombs in the car and uh, bombed the street they were actually able to catch them. This is back in 2005, don't get confused with the one that just happened. But this is just proof that surveillance does work. Surveillance is a issue that we need to be concerned because if we're surveilled, we'll behave. And um, my opponents felt to recognize that this is actually a morality issue because it comes down to what's more important, your privacy or national uh, security. What's going to be of the kids who didn't grow up in 11 who just have to fear against another terrorist attack that they have to go to school one day and you never know if you're going to make it back because because if they want to get uh, we want to put more restrictions we won't know what's going on with other people we won't know who is actually making bombs or who who is planning to attack any type of school or any type of public place those people who were in the towers did not expect anything bad to happen that day but. As we all know, it happened, it brought us together. However, now we have to realize that the reality that we live in is not the same one that we used to live in. The reality of today is that we need to be concerned with our neighbors because we don't know who they are. We don't know what they're up to. We don't know what they can do. So, a uh, quote that I caught from ABC News says, if uh, FBI Deputy Dis uh, Director Sam Joyce Testify today in the follow-up to the other night, NSA, using uh, 702 authorities, intercepted an email from terrorists located in Pakistan. The individual was taking with <clears throat> the individual was talking with the individual located in the United States, uh, talking about prefer, uh, perfecting a recipe for explosives. What this means that the NSA actually did their job. They're actually collecting important data that uh, refrain this person from Pakistan and the United States having that conversation to actually form explosives. So they said the Patriot Act is actually not providing us with security. However, they were able to not just displot 50 times, 50 terrorist plots, they also were able to something smaller like this. They were able to disqualify somebody who was trying to make um, explosive with a recipe from Iraq. So, not Iraq. Pakistan, sorry. So, just to reiterate, just the last part for now, I went ahead and got a quote from the NSA.gov, which is the actual NSA uh, website that says, the mission of the Domestic Surveillance, Sur uh, Surve Surveillance Directory is simple. Collect, process, and store U.S. citizens' data for a good for of the nation. We cope with the overload of information in our environment and turn that and turn that short collaboration both within our agencies and throughout its interactions with various patterns, which this means that what the NSA is here to do, I'm just going to reiterate, is just to surveil us, to provide us with a safe environment. 